for decades. Ontario has been a province where if you worked hard and played by the rules, you could find a great job, raise a family, buy a home, live the Canadian dream. But thanks to skyrocketing real estate prices, that dream is on life support for a whole generation of young Ontarians. Ontario is one of the most expensive places on earth for housing. Home prices have tripled in the last 10 years, and one of the major problems is we aren't building enough homes. In 2021, Ontario built 100,000 homes. Not bad. But we need 1.2 million homes to solve the supply shortage right now. And we will need 1.5 million to keep pace with population growth in the next decade. Our housing market has become a cruel game of musical chairs. More and more buyers are chasing fewer and fewer homes. And young families are the ones left out. And with an increasing population, it's getting worse. Standing in the way of the Canadian dream are forces stopping affordable homes from being built. Across Ontario, local politicians and NIMBY groups are fighting to keep neighborhoods sparse, spread out, and predominantly made up of single-family homes. In Toronto, housing rules reserve 70% of the city for only single-family homes or duplexes. This means in most of the city, you can easily demolish a bungalow and turn it into a three-story mansion for one wealthy family. But if you tried to build an affordable townhome for multiple families in the same spot, you would have to go through reams of paperwork, endless rounds of meetings, and pay permitting fees and other exorbitant costs. Housing rules and bureaucracy also get in the way of building affordable homes in areas already zoned for denser housing. For example, in 2019, a proposed building was forced to eliminate 26 affordable housing units and seven floors because the building would have cast a shadow for less than an hour a day on a central park in Toronto. Canadian cities are also among the slowest in the world to approve new housing projects, well behind the UK and US. And cities in Ontario are among the slowest in the country. In extreme cases, it can take as many as 10 years for a project to be approved. And the cost of those delays, pricey consultants, and reports are all passed down into the final price of a home, which only makes our housing crisis worse. Ontario can't keep going this way. Young families are leaving our province. The Canadian dream they were promised is way out of reach. They are frustrated and they want action. Lower taxes on their first purchase, affordable homes for their growing family in the neighborhood they grew up in, and housing policy that prioritizes homes for their kids over local politics. We have the tools at our disposal, and we have a plan for all parties vying to form government in the upcoming election. Read our plan for more affordable homes at ahomeforeveryone.info.